Hi everyone, welcome to Go Classes. In this lecture, I want to discuss a misconception in digital logic. This misconception, this is related to Boolean functions whose complement is same as their dual. Okay, so those Boolean functions whose complement is same as their dual, related to these Boolean functions, some misconceptions are there among students. So these misconceptions I want to discuss. Okay, so first of all, what is our target? Our target is to discuss those Boolean functions such that f complement is same as f dual. This type of functions we want to discuss, remember, we want to discuss those Boolean functions such that f complement is same as their dual. Okay, so for example, if you consider this function f, this is your function over two variables a comma b. Now this function you can easily see this is your a exclusive or b, this is XOR function. For this function, what the dual, what the complement you find it? So this is your function a xor b, this is the function. We can write this a xor b in this format. We can say that a bar b or a b bar. Now if you find what are the complement of this function, what that will be? The complement, you can easily apply the de Morgan law. If you apply the de Morgan law, then you will get a or b bar and a bar or b. This is the complement. And what will be the dual of this function? What will be the dual of this function? What will happen? This or will become and, this and will become or, this and will become or, and literals will not change. You will not change the literals. So what will happen? This or will become and. Okay, so this or will become and. This and, this and will become or. This and will become or. Literals will not change. So you can see, literals will not change. So it will happen like this. Now you can easily notice they are basically same because this f complement, you can also write as a bar or b and a or b bar. So you can easily see from here, you can easily see that f complement is same as f dual. Okay, for which function? For which function? For a xor b. So remember, if you have this function a xor b, then for this function, you can easily notice that f complement is same as f dual. Okay, so this is what we are saying that this type of function we want to discuss. We want to discuss those Boolean functions whose complement is same as their dual. For example, this function. For this function, you can easily see that complement, f complement and f dual, they will be same. If you find the f complement, that will be f complement will be this. f complement, that will basically be XNOR. What is f complement? That is the XNOR function. And f dual also will be same that we have already seen. You can see this. For this function f, you can see f dual and f complement both are same. Okay. So this type of function we want to discuss. Here you can notice that f complement, f dual, they are basically same. Okay. f complement, f dual, they are same. Okay. So I want to discuss this type of functions whose complement and dual that is same. Okay. Remember, this is not true for all the functions. There are some functions for which f complement and f dual will be same. For example, this function a a xor b for this function f complement and f dual they will be same but remember there are some functions there are many functions for which this will not happen for example if you consider this function f1 this is your function a a b now if you find what are the complement of this function then that will be a bar or b bar and if you find what are the dual of this function then that will be a or b and definitely they are not same see for this function if you find the complement the complement will be 1 1 1 0 this will be the complement. The complement is a, a bar or b bar. This is the complement. And what are the dual? For this function, what are the dual? The dual is a or b. The dual is a, a or b. So if you find the dual, then that will be 0, 1, 1, 1. Now you can easily notice that this f complement and f dual, they are not same. f complement is not same as f dual. For which function? For which function? For f, f1 equal to? For f1 equal to a b. Okay, so remember for this f1, for this function f1, you can see that f1 complement, f1 dual, they are not same for this function. Okay, so very simple point. Now you can consider these functions, like you can see for this f1, we have already seen, for this f1, we have already seen that f complement is not same as f1 dual. Okay, this we have already seen. Similarly, you can notice for f2, f2, this function f2, you remember, this function is your a or b. For this function, what will happen? You can see what will be f2 complement. f2 complement will be a bar b bar. And what will be f2 dual? What will be f2 dual? The f2 dual that will be a b. Okay, so again you can notice they are not same. You can see f2 complement. f2 complement that is not same. That is not same as f2 dual. They are not same, right? Okay, so very simple. So for this function, you can see complement and dual, they are not same. 
but you can see we have already seen this exclusive or for this function what will happen for this f3 what will happen that f3 complement is same as f3 dual okay so remember for some functions complement will be same as com uh, complement will be same as dual so what will happen remember for some boolean functions for some boolean functions their complement will be same as their dual so i can say for some boolean functions this will happen this will happen that f complement is same as their dual okay but this will not happen for all the functions this will happen for some functions for some boolean function f complement will be same as their dual now what are the misconceptions related to this concept this type of functions what are the misconceptions what are the misconceptions around such functions so these are the misconceptions you can see these are the misconceptions let me tell you all of them are misconceptions around these such type of functions okay such functions must be neutral this is a misconception this is false number of such function will be 2 power n minus 1 c 2 power n minus 2 this is also wrong such functions are called orthogonal this is also wrong so these are the misconceptions let me tell you all of them these three statements these are the misconceptions related to this type of function okay so we are discussing functions whose complement is same as their dual okay for these functions re remember all these three statements these are misconceptions these are wrong statements so this is what i am saying that for the for this type of functions okay for this type of function remember all of them are wrong statement this is a wrong statement this is a wrong statement this is a wrong statement let's see one by one let's look at all of them one by one so first of all this is saying that such function must be neutral this is a false such function must be neutral this statement is false because what you can do for example this is very simple what you can consider you can consider this function consider this function on two variables 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 what you do you consider this function f that is all zero just consider this function f now you tell me you just tell me think about it and tell me for this function this is your function f equal to zero what will be the complement complement will be one and what will be the dual for this function for this function f equal to zero what will be the dual see when you find the dual of a function when you find dual of expression then zero will change to one so for this function you can see f dual is one so you can see that for this function remember for this function you can notice f complement is same as f dual okay but you can see this function is not neutral this function f you can easily see this function f is not neutral this function is not neutral but 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 for this function f complement is same as f dual so remember this statement such functions must be neutral okay such functions must be neutral this statement is false because this function is not neutral you can see okay so very easy you can see this type of functions must be neutral that statement is false another function we can consider is this consider this function that is a bar b bar c bar or a b c okay so consider this function you can see one then all zero and then finally one okay so this function also you can consider a bar b bar c bar or a b c this function for this function what will be the complement you can apply the de morgan law if you apply the de morgan law then your complement that you will get that will be a or b or c and a bar or b bar or c bar and if you find the f dual that also you can easily find if you want to find the f dual then this or will become and this and will become or okay and you don't change the literals don't change the literals so basically if you find the dual you can easily find the dual and you will get this dual of course you can see both are same okay you can see because what you can do you can write it a bar or b bar or c bar and a or b or c so again you can easily consider that this function these two functions if you notice then from here you can consider that f complement is same as f dual okay f complement and f dual they are again same so this is what i am saying that for this function for this function what will happen for this function f complement and f dual they are same but but still you can notice this function f is not neutral but you can see this function f this is not neutral this function is not neutral okay and you can easily see that for this function f complement f dual they will be same f complement will be same as their dual okay so if you find the f complement then this will be f complement and the same will be f dual this same will be f dual so you can easily see for this function f remember for this function f you can see for this function f f complement and f dual they are same but but f is not neutral okay so this is the point so remember this is a misconception that this type of function 
functions whose complement is same as their dual this type of functions must be neutral this is false okay so if you are thinking that this must be neutral such type this type of function must be neutral then that is a misconception let's see the next misconception related to these functions so this type of functions whose complement is same as their dual this type of functions what is the number of this type of functions for n variables if you have n variables then how many such functions are there is this formula correct think about it is this formula correct let me tell you this formula is not correct okay you can easily prove it wrong okay what you can do you can easily prove it wrong for example if you take n equal to 2 if you have two variables then this formula will give you what this formula according to this formula you will get how many such functions you will get according to this formula if you put n equal to 1 then you will get two two such functions you will get according to this formula two such functions as per this formula okay as per this formula you will get two such functions right okay so if you take n equal to 2 means if you take two variables then according to this formula you will get two such functions you will get but let me tell you this is wrong okay let me tell you this this is wrong you can easily check how many two variable functions have this property that their dual is same as their complement you can easily check for example okay so let me let me tell you that this formula is wrong remember for this type of functions this formula is wrong okay what you can do you can easily check for two variables if you have n equal to 2 for two variables how many such functions are there you can easily check for example you can see if you have two variables then this function has this property you can see this is your function f1 that is 0 for this function if you find the complement then that will be one if for this function if you find the dual that also will be one so they are same you can see f complement and f dual they are same so i can say this function has this property this function f1 has this property okay so this f1 i can say i can say for this function f1 what we can say we can say that f1 dual is same as f1 complement okay so this function has this property similarly you can take this function also f2 this f2 is your exclusive or we have already seen that this function also has this property for this function also the complement will be same as the dual okay so this function also has this property similarly you can notice this function f3 equal to 1 f3 equal to 1 for this function if you find the complement that will be zero and for this function if you find the dual that will be that also will be zero so again you can notice that they are same so this function also has this property so remember for this function also i can say f3 complement is same as f3 dual okay so this function also has this property consider this function f4 that is 1001 okay consider this function that is exclusive nor okay x nor you can see so consider this function f4 that is 1001 for this x nor also you can easily notice that f dual will be same as f complement for this function if you find the f complement and if you find the dual they will be same so this function also has this property so remember if you have two variables then these functions have this property all of them for all these functions f complement is same as f dual so all of them have have this property so remember if you have two variables if you have two variables then four functions have this property if you have two variables so you if you have two variables then remember over two variables four functions have this property that their dual is same as their complement one last misconception that i want to discuss that is such functions are called orthogonal that is also wrong let me tell you that if you are thinking that this type of functions they have a standard name okay these are called orthogonal then that is also wrong on youtube actually some youtubers they call it orthogonal function this type of functions you can see this type of functions for which f complement is same as f dual for this type of functions some youtubers they are using this word they are using this terminology orthogonal function okay but let me tell you this is wrong first of all this type of functions there is no standard name for this type of functions remember those functions for which complement is same as their dual this type of functions they do not have any standard name you can see there is no standard name for this type of functions in any standard book okay so this type of functions whose complement is same as their dual this type of functions they don't have any standard name also let me tell you let me tell you orthogonal boolean function orthogonal boolean function this type of word does not exist in the standard resources okay this orthogonal boolean function this terminology this concept this word this terminology this does not exist in any standard resource 
ओके सो रिमेंबर देर इज नो स्टैंडर्ड कॉन्सेप्ट इन एनी स्टैंडर्ड रिसोर्स विच Uh, which goes by this name so remember this concept okay this name this terminology is not in any standard resource so very simple you can see this meme orthogonal boolean function that is not even a word that is not even a standard word in any standard book in any standard resource you will not find this type of function this type of word you will not find so remember this is not a standard word i can say this meme you can see that's not even a word okay some youtubers are using this word but this is not a standard word okay so simple i can say this type of functions are called orthogonal this is also wrong because there is no standard word for this type of functions okay so we have seen all the misconceptions so this is what i wanted to tell you that those functions whose complement is same as their dual this type of functions this type of functions there are some misconceptions related to this type of functions okay this is what i am telling you those functions whose complement is same as their dual related to these functions there are some misconceptions for example this type of functions must be neutral that is wrong this type of function number of this type of functions this is the formula that is wrong and this type of functions are called orthogonal that is wrong so you can see all these three things are wrong okay so you can see this type of function must be neutral this is wrong this is the formula for number of such functions this is wrong this is also wrong so all these things are wrong okay so i hope you understood what are the misconceptions related to this functions what are the misconceptions i told you i told you what are the misconceptions this is what i told you what are the misconceptions but if you want to study the complete and correct analysis with proof of this type of functions then you can find the link in the description okay so remember these functions these functions whose complement is same as their dual okay if you want to know the complete correct analysis of this type of functions the complete analysis and the correct analysis of this type of functions with proof if you want to understand then you can watch this lecture the link is in the description okay also please let me know did you have these misconceptions did you have these misconceptions let me know in the comments and like and share with all the gate aspirants so that they can study the correct concept okay so please like and share and let me know in the comments did you have these misconceptions and also to the youtubers who are teaching these wrong concepts i want to say please don't take this video negatively okay take this video positively mistakes can happen from anyone okay so please take this video positively and instead of getting angry that go classes is uh, exposing your wrong concepts or something like that okay so instead of getting angry please correct the concept okay so you can watch this video and you can watch the video uh, which is the link in the description for complete analysis for complete and correct analysis with proof what you can do you can watch this video the link is in the description and after watching this video uh, these concepts you can correct so that so many students they are learning wrong concepts you can see 18000 2000 okay so so many students they are learning wrong concepts so okay after watching this video after watching this video please correct the concepts instead of getting angry okay so please take this video uh, i can say positively and uh, give correct knowledge to the students okay so please make this correction so that students can learn correct concept okay and to all the students i want to ask so did you have this mi these misconceptions please let me know in the comments okay so please like and share with all the gate aspirants so that they can also study correct concept okay thank you everyone